This is going to be a quick introduction to color lookup tables, commonly referred to as LUTs. So what are color lookup tables? An easy way to describe them would be that they are universal color presets. Think of the colors on your footage as being represented by different numbers, which would be color values. When a lookup table is applied to your footage, it shifts those color values around and changes the color information. Similar to a color preset in After Effects or any other editing program. However, LUTs provide a much higher level of color accuracy and are universal in the sense that they can be used across a multitude of different programs, editors, and even imported into cameras and external monitors. An example of this would be if you color corrected your clip in DaVinci Resolve and then exported a LUT and brought that into Premiere Pro so you could quickly apply that color correction to numerous other clips. Another example would be if you created a color grade in After Effects, you could export a LUT, import it into an external monitor, enabling you to preview that color grade on location. This is really helpful when you want to preview how colors of a scene are going to react to your grade. It can help you properly expose when you're filming in a flat log profile such as V-Log or S-Log 2. Keep in mind when you export a LUT from a program, that LUT will only contain the color values. So if you've created a killer color grade in DaVinci Resolve with mask, sharpening, blurs, and grain, none of those settings will be contained within an exported LUT. Only the color values will be. The .cube LUT file type is one of the most common lookup table formats. LUTs can be used for a variety of different needs. Some are tailored toward color correction. A common example of this would be if you're converting a shot from a flat log profile to a standard Rec. 709 profile that will often be easier to work with. Some are tailored toward film emulation which will actually shift the color values of digital footage to appear as they would on different film stocks. Others are geared toward cinema styles such as the orange teal aesthetic. The M31 LUT from Osiris is one of the most popular for this look. LUTs can even be used for abstract looks, so it's really up to you how you want to use them. It's worth noting though that many color grading LUTs are intended to be used as a starting point for your grade. It is possible to get a great look just by applying a LUT, but more than likely you want to fine tune the grade a bit more for your particular shot. And all LUTs will not work well with all footage. Keep in mind that LUTs may have been created for different shooting scenarios such as daytime, nighttime, indoors, or outdoors. A LUT created for a moody, rainy scene probably won't work well with a vibrant, sunny beach shot but really it's up to you and the creative look you're going for. Finally, if you're using Adobe Creative Cloud and have Photoshop CC, you already have some LUTs installed on your computer that you can get started with. Navigate to your program files, applications if you're using a Mac, locate and open your Adobe Photoshop CC folder, then open Presets, then find the folder 3D LUTs. Inside will be some lookup tables you can use with Premiere Pro, Final Cut 10, After Effects, or any other program that can import lookup tables. This has been Charles Jager for Tuts Plus. Thanks for watching.